the Burning Room is the 19th novel in the Bosch series. Michael Connolly joins us now at the table. Welcome. Yay. Thanks for having me. Yay. Harry Bosch is your favorite character? I think so. He's the one I started with, and uh, somehow... He's been good to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has, and there's still things that I don't know about him, <clears throat> excuse yeah. me, that I'm, you know, I still um, need to answer, yeah. and so that's why I keep writing about him. But you've done 27 books in 22 years. How in the world do you do that? Mm -hmm. I think it's because I started as a newspaper reporter, and you, ha you get this building work ethic where you're working every day. There's no such thing as writer's block. Yeah. Can you imagine going to... <laughs> yeah. a, a newspaper editor and saying, I can't do it today, I no. don't have it, you know, yeah. it's, no. they'll, they'll show you the door. So I yeah. kind of have taken that into my life as a uh, fiction writer, and so I, I keep hours, I write every day, and And you I like get to write done. in the dark. Well, what happened was <laughs> my first um, two, three books I wrote while I was a newspaper reporter, so I was writing them through the middle of the night, because that's yeah. when I had the time, and I got lucky and I got published, and it's kind of like <laughs> writers are su superstitious, so if it works, don't Keep, change it. Yeah. It would be interesting to know how many reporters who wanted to be writers and novelists uh -huh. uh, made it, and how many didn't make it, and why it was true for one and not the other. Well, I think a lot of um, journalists think in terms of nonfiction. Mm -hmm. I had an opposite plan. I, had, I saw journalism as a means to an end. I started wanting to write novels, crime novels in particular, and so I went into journalism so I could get on the crime beat. I could meet detectives. I could be in courtrooms, and then I, it would be like research for when I was uh, ready and, I guess, mature enough to try to write novels. He had a game plan from the very beginning, yeah. it sounds like. Yeah. It sound, I mean, you know, it was a game hope, you know, you, yeah. you hope it will work out, but you never really know whether but you'll be able to do But you've got a do cool this. story. When you were 16, you saw a crime, and that sort of hooked you. Yeah, I, I was a witness. Um, I saw a guy running. I was in my car. It was late at night. I just left work as a dishwasher, and I saw him hide something <laughs> in a hedge. So when he got away or went away, I went over to the hedge and pulled it out <laughs> yes. and it was a gun. It was and I never And now even, it had and then it had your fingerprints on it. Yeah. No, well, it was wrapped around a, a shirt <laughs> and I had never even held a gun in my life. So uh, of course I stuck it back in there and ran back to my car. But I called my father, woke him up and he said, Go you know, we're gonna call the police and, and what happened was I saw the tail end of a guy running away from a shooting. And uh, wow. so I spent a night in a police station with some very tough detectives who were working so cool. that case, and that's where I think the whole the idea seed was of writing. And, and, yeah. and how did this series on Amazon, Bosch series, get happen? Well, Amazon is probably the place that sells the most books of mine in the world, and so um, I had uh, Harry Bosch was tied up in uh, Paramount Studios for over a decade, and when I got it back, somebody on the book side of Amazon found out about it, told someone on the studio side, and I got an email which led to a lunch, to, which led to Amazon saying let's do this and I didn't have to take it to Hollywood I didn't have to pitch it it was like done deal let's 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 do something with this and so it went from there um, it also appeals to me because I and personally that's how I watch a lot of TV I stream it I binge it um, I record it and uh, and so I, I think I'm working in an area that um, I personally subscribe to. And you sort of picked this Harry Bosch character too that we're going to see. Uh, yeah, that I mean, one you. thing. Yeah, one thing that Amazon said is that we really only want to do this is if in, unless you um, are going to be involved. And so I've been very involved. And one day in a casting session where they're going through names of people that could be Harry Bosch, I threw out this name Titus Welliver, who is an actor, a character actor who I'd seen in a number of things and thought he could really project inner demons without having to talk about saying, I have inner demons, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, it was a, it's all about what, what you're showing. And uh, so they put him on the list and through a long process, we ended up with Titus as Harry Bosch and I'm very happy about that. Mm -hmm. Matthew McConaughey came to you to talk about the Lincoln lawyer to how he should get ready for the role. Yeah, he, um, he, he got, saw the script, the script was very good, but he said, you know, this is um, based on a book, most likely based on a lot of research, mm -hmm. and I need that stuff. And so he reached out to me, brought me into that project. I was really kind of on the periphery, which is the way most uh, writers are dealt with in Hollywood. This Amazon thing is a, an mm -hmm. exception. And so I came in, I, I introduced him to the lawyers who I researched that book with, and I think that helped him uh, really nail that part. Mm -hmm. Well, Michael well, Conley, yeah, Michael Conley, you, you consult you. with me about nothing in your writing, but I'm a little concerned about the ending of Burning Room. I just want to be on record. The, the Burning There's gonna Room. There's going to be another book. Okay. <laughs> Burning Room is now on sale. You're watching CBS This Morning.